Patrick Cantley just won the 112th SCG Amateur Championship. I'm here with his father, Steve, and his caddy today, Chris Roth. We're going to start with Chris. Chris, coming down the stretch there, did you guys know where you stood uh, score-wise, and uh, was there any discussion about what you needed to do to, to finish off strong there? Yeah, um, through 15, we knew we were tied with uh, Manav Shaw, and we just wanted to come um, the last three holes strong. Um, and then when we got word on after 17 that he bogeyed, we were a little more comfortable. He had a decent shot on 18 um, off the drive, uh, got a bad kick left, and then not that great of an approach shot, but turned out the bunker shot was perfect. Yeah, tell us about that amazing bunker shot. He needed to get up and down for par to win it, and he almost hold it. What kind of lie did he have, and did you give him any uh, words of advice before playing that shot? Well, after he hit the approach shot, we were hoping that it wasn't plugged. Um, we were like, oh, it's plugged for sure. But like throughout the week, the bunkers really didn't have that much sand. So there was, um, there was a probability that we were fine. Um, we saw it. It was fine. And then we're like, okay, we're going to win this thing. So it's a perfect shot after there. And what does it mean to have your good friend uh, win this championship? It's awesome. Um, finally uh, win a tournament after three weeks on the road trying to compete with the best in the world it's a good feeling yeah. and we're here with the proud father here Steve you know you've been following a, a hot stretch here by by Pat what's it been like to follow him on the East Coast and uh, see him play in the US Open get low am and then also play so well in the uh, the PGA Tour events that well, was obviously a, a definite thrill um, to go back there you know it was uh, you, know, you don't know until a week before that you're actually going to be in the open and uh, to get back there and and uh, have him play so well particularly the second day and then make the cut um, it was just a, a, an incredible experience, and the, we got word sometime, uh, I think after the first round of the Open, that uh, he was possibly going to get into uh, the next week at the Travelers. So, you know, from there it was just kind of a blur and, and just uh, a lot of uh, adrenaline, a lot of fun. And then as a, as a father out there, how much nerves go into watching your son play? I noticed you're kind of stepping away and, and watching from a distance at that, distance that time. What's your, what's your strategy out there watching your son? Yeah, I like to get away, particularly, I, you know, as the crowds build. Um, you need to kind of get away to kind of be able to see anything, for one. And, and I just do better when I'm a little bit further away and uh, try and find as much shade as I possibly can. And then coming down 18 here, uh, when he almost hold that bunker shot and he secured it with the tap in for the win how did it feel to have him win this championship no it's it's uh it's been a dream we've got uh one of the his buddies back at uh, virginia country club that uh has given him a lot of advice over the years john merrick won this event uh several years back and um you know i having a, a local tournament to play for the first time in a little while um we were really looking forward to this week and for him to, to come out on top, um, given all the amazing coverage that you guys have given him uh, the last two or three or four days, um, it's really uh, rewarding to see him come out on top today. Yeah, well, we're really happy to have him as our champion, and we're looking forward to big things from him for the future.